What's going on, people? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another episode of the circus that is this football club. I don't even know how to intro this video, but Nicholas Jackson may or may not have been caught in an entanglement. I think that's the right way to call it, an entanglement, but God knows. There's, there's some shit going on with Astrid Wet. I do have to say right now it is still all alleged. We're yet to have any confirmation that is Nicholas Jackson. But it definitely sounds like it was a Chelsea player based on the context. And Astrid has said some things that hinted that it might be him. But basically, she was on a she was on a stream. Someone was on the phone to her, which was alleged to be a Chelsea player. May or may not have been asking for nudes, but there's been a lot of footage that's been doing the rounds on the timeline. We're going to talk about this logically. We're not going to take the piss or anything because this all this also could not be him, but it does seem like it is him. And if it is him, I do want to say for the most part, who cares? Who cares? Like, I don't really care what who he tries to chirps on his private time and everything like that. But we'll go into the videos. We'll discuss it. And yeah, we'll see what everybody's saying. Just let me zoom in a bit quickly. So this is... <laughs> I think that sounds like a good deal. No, it's not a good deal. It's not a good deal. No, not to get, not to... I have to you know, I know I will, so... You will win, so you know you'll win. Yeah, so... Okay, why... maybe you need a little motivation. Yeah, I need a motivation tonight. Okay, right, right this second. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, I'll let you go then, and I'll, I'll chat to you on Snapchat. Okay. Goodbye. I would have showed the stream, but it was literally a black screen. He was literally it, was did it a FaceTime on call? It was a FaceTime, oh, sure. but it was a black screen, and every now and then I could just, like, you could only see his face slightly. But that would have been so bait if I turned it around on the screen. That's basically everything from the first video. There was also this. Yeah. Jackson can't finish anyways. Well, he would have done if I sent him a little something something tonight, but... It's not looking good. It's not it's looking good. Nice to chat. We've only been chatting on text, so... Hmm. <laughs> Well, I don't I don't know if I can do much in the car. I mean if you have any phone. Oh, you want some pre made stuff. Not if you want, if you don't, if you We'll see we'll see how lucky you get. Maybe if you win on Sunday I'll send you a little something. Oh, this brother is so down horrendous. Fucking hell man. Right. So let let's break this down. So I've seen everyone getting annoyed at the whole I need motivation line. And I got annoyed at it too initially. I thought, what are you talking about? We are literally in 10th. You've got a big move to Chelsea and you're waffling about I need motivation when you're our number nine in your first season. But the more you watch it, the more obvious it is that like Astrid's just dragged that line out of him. Says maybe you need a bit of motivation and he's just jumped at the bait because he's dropping game and he's down horrendous. And... I mean, you're a pro footballer. You can bag anyone you want. Why you're dying for Astrid, of all people? I, I, I don't know, but it's also not really my place to say. Do what you want. Try and sleep with whoever you want. Keep it legal, of course, goes without saying. But I, I don't care who you're trying to sleep with. I don't care what you try to do in your personal life. Like, football is a horse. If we're going to call it what it is, football is a fucking horse. Like, I, I've known so many people, close friends exes, all sorts of women who have had attention from footballers or who have slept with footballers in the past. This shit just comes with the with the fame. It's not that deep. Just keep this shit under wraps, bro. <laughs> it's like the whole Mad Wakey thing, but it's just blown out of proportion even more because it's Astrid. But I'm not annoyed about the interaction. If you want to drop game, it ain't my business. Just please move in silence, man. If you're, if you're going to chat to an OnlyFans model who is unofficially connected with Chelsea, well, I have to say connected because she is. When you think of Astrid Way, you're going to think of Chelsea. Whether you like it or not, it is what it is. But if you're going to chat to somebody who is unofficially associated with the club, try and keep it under wraps. 
trying not to do any stupidness, but that's about it in the grand scheme of things. I know everyone's bringing up um, the fact that he had a kid last month. I think he's in a relationship and everything, but that's the thing. It's an I think, I don't know the dynamics of their relationship. They might have an open relationship. There are some football players who do have open relationships with their partners because what's the partner going to do? Break up? He's still going to go around and keep shagging whoever he wants to shag anyway. So you either sit by and put up with it because the guy's going to give you a fuck ton of money or you leave and he's still going to do it. So I wouldn't even be surprised if that was the case. I don't know the dynamics of Nicholas Jackson's relationship, so I'm not even going to try and delve into that. I just care about the stuff on the pitch. And this shit is low-key put the, puts Nicholas Jackson under a lot of pressure. In fact, I say low-key, I say high-key. This guy is going to be under a fucking microscope on Sunday and beyond. Watch, if he drops a stinker in the next two to three games... You're going to see a lot of fans losing patience with him. You're going to see a lot of fans saying his mentality isn't right. He's he's not focused enough. They're going to start micro-analyzing literally every aspect of his game or everything he does off the pitch. They were literally doing it last week already when he traveled to Villarreal after he lost 4-1 to Newcastle. Save Poch for not taking the day off. But we move. We move. But this is the thing. That he's going to be under a fucking microscope. And, and to be honest, like, I'm more annoyed about, about Astrid, if anything, because Astrid is a major issue of this. She just made a laughing stock out of the entire club, all for the sake of clout. Now, I've kept quiet about a lot of what she does because it's not my business. I don't care how you make your money. I don't care how you build your profile. Do whatever it is what it is. I'm not going to judge people who do OnlyFans. Like, that shit's just dead. But it, to record another man's call like that, especially if a player of the team that you're meant to support just solely for the sake of clout is ridiculous. It's a disrespect to the privacy of the guy that you're talking to. It's naive. It's a deliberate way to bring the club's name into distribute. And, and the thing is, it's deliberate. This shit was done on purpose. Whether she was aware of the, what the consequences could be for this or not, I don't know. I don't know, but it was done deliberately for the sake of clout. Clout that, to be honest, you already have. Why do you need to start dragging our striker's name down the mud for it? Because now this guy's just going to get ripped. This guy's getting ripped for his shit off the pitch. When, to be honest, he shouldn't even be getting ripped for that anyway, because who the fuck cares? The only the only bit, thing I could get people questioning him about was, what about the relationship? Are you cheating and all of that? But football is living a different world to you and me. Footballers don't live. Footballers can go and do that, and it doesn't mean a fucking thing. Because what's the woman going to do? Are you gonna, are you gonna leave him or not? So many footballers do the dirty. It's just a lot of them do the shit under wraps. Nicholas Jackson has just moved a little bit reckless, and he's put himself in the situation a little bit. Again, it's an OnlyFans girl, unofficially associated with Chelsea. And I'm sure you've been looking at the Instagram pics. I'm sure you've seen her, her profile a little bit. So you knew who you were dealing with too. You just got to do better, man. Now, I'll just be real with you. You've got to move a lot smarter than that. This shit is just embarrassing. This is peak banter era. Like, I I've tried to stay away from the whole are we in a banter era thing for a long time. No, we really are. We really are. This is the most unserious shit I have ever seen. But you can only laugh. You can only laugh. I'm not going to judge Nicholas Jackson for it. Like, shag who you want to shag. I, I don't care past that. Just get GNA. Get GNA. And for, for your sake, you have to get GNA now after everything that's come out because, boy, oh, it's going to be a long weekend. Sunday is going to be long for Nicholas Jackson if he don't have a good performance. The timeline is going to cook him alive. Hell, forget, forget Sunday. Wait till the rivals wake up. Although this video will be out by the time they have woken up. I'm recording this at like 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. But what a mess, man. What an absolute mess. Whatever, though. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that. We will be back. This is going to be out in the morning. So we'll be back later today. Hate a long session. Arsenal Wolves. Newcastle versus Manchester United. What's the 5.30 kickoff? What is the 5.30 kickoff? Nottingham Forest, Everton. Oh, fucking hell. 
Actually, no, with where we are this season, we might have to keep an eye on that game. I might do that watch along too. Right. We've got a long hate along coming later today, so keep a look out for that. And let me know your thoughts. Are you ashamed or do you think it's not that deep? I hope you don't think it's that deep because seriously, a guy can go and chat to whoever he wants to chat to. Relationship aside and all of that. But again, footballers live on a different planet to us. They can do the dirty and get away with it. Unless you're PK. Unless you're PK. But yeah, big up everybody. Like and subscribe. I'm going to bun a zoot and go bed. Up the Chelsea.